Right. In the previous class, we saw the components of SD-WAN. There are two orchestrators. There are two. Con there, are, there are three controllers, not two. Three controllers. Can anyone name the three controllers? Uh, we manage. We smart. We both. We manage. We smart. We both. Yeah. Except we edge. All others are controller only. But we should not call it as control plane. I was I was about to call it as control plane. You remember yesterday, the the V manager. But it, though it's a controller, we can't con we can't call it as a control plane. It is a management plane. So V manage is a management plane, using which we configure the edge device, <coughs> the routing policies, the routing protocols for all the edge device. We will use templates to do that. What is template? Those common configuration that we need to put on all the edge device. Say, for example, if you see this picture, in Nigeria, in Afghanistan, in Sweden, in US, uh, also in Philippines, I got VH. You see? I got VH here, VH here, VH here. VH here, VH here. Uh, this is a CH because we got a Cisco device, CSR device. This is VH, this is VH, this is VH. Webtail edge or Vanage simply. On all this, Assume I want to I want to enable a routing protocol called OSPF. So what I'll use, you know, I'll use a template here in the V Manager. Using template, I'll say uh, it should be OSPF process ID one, area area ID zero. Uh, router ID need to be the Lubeck interface address. So that's how we create a template and we push the template down to the V edge. Yep. So it's a management plane. We do configurations from that one single plane of class, single point of management. How many sites we have? Five sites. But we are not going to jump between each sides. We'll simply use we'll use the V manager. We'll simply use the V manager uh, to configure all these V edges. But how V manager knows the V edge? This also we saw earlier in the previous class. What did we see? How V manager knows about the VH? I'll tell you the story one more time. It may be a new story, but according to me, we touched a little bit in the previous class. You see, these V edges are configured with a small amount of configuration only a small amount of configuration a skinny or initial setup configuration or it may be even zero touch provisioning way see let me repeat I do not want to confuse you we adjust may have some configuration the initial setup configuration may not also. There is an option called zero touch provisioning, Z, ZTP. We'll talk about that in detail later. So, edges somehow will know the V bonds address. Now, V bond 
checks the certificate and authenticates the VHS. So VHS are sending what? Some certificate. You might have configured VHS with certificate or it may be zero touch provisioning. Somehow VHS know VBond and it provides certificate to VBond to prove that I'm a genuine VH. So VBond is very happy to see the certificate because it is a certificate issued by VBond earlier. So when it finds the certificate, it authenticates fine. Okay, good. This V this VH is a genuine VH. So let me give some information about V Manager and V Smart. After receiving the information of V Edge and V Smart. The VHS goes and registers themselves with both vSmart and vManage. Now vManage can see all the edge devices. This is how vManage can see all the edge devices, v edge devices. You can say inventory is been done, discovery of v edges. is done. <coughs> Discovery is done. Now what V Manager does, according to the policies, the templates that you configured, V Manager is going to push the configuration to the respective V edges. And this V edges now got the route information. Please understand. These inside routes. Are learned in VH, maybe using some internal protocol like OSPF. Likewise here. For all the edge devices. The internal networks are learned. And edge devices are already reachable via MPLS or via I, uh, internet or via broadband connection to so some connection, they're all reachable. They're ping using which the, the, the V bond was able to authenticate. And using the same transport network, I would like to call it as transport network. Using the same transport network, these are all transport network. Using the same transport network, we had just have went and registered with V Manager. V Manager pushed all the configuration using netconf, and now all these edge devices know how to root the packet, where to root the packet, where not to root the packet, ACL policies, QoS policies, it knows everything. See, on on VHS, administrator need not to configure anything, except that uh, initial setup configuration to reach the V bond. No configuration. You don't configure OSPF. You don't configure anything on VHS. But the control plane of VH is now there and it is determined by vManager. And in vManager, we only put those policies, the routing policies. Accordingly, a control plane is now created. But that's a local control plane. For this edge Afghanistan to ping edge Sweden, we need the help of vSmart. 
so what happens is using vSmart, this vEdge advertises all this internal network and vSmart takes it and advertises to all other edges. Likewise from Sweden, when, uh, when, when, when the route comes, vSmart distributes to all other. It reflects the route to all other VHS. So now every edge knows about the other edge. If they want to communicate, they can simply communicate like this. They may use internet or they may use the MPLS connection. Or you may also have another broadband connection. So this is the overall story, right? Let me repeat. This V Manager, V Smart, V Born, they are all in a LAN. And to manage them you got a server. You also have a customer edge device. It's not a VH. It can be a VH also, but here in this diagram there is a separate VH. So from the customer edge you got two connections to reach the other VHS, one via MPLS as a transport, another one internet as a transport. Using this reachability, all the VHS comes and talks the V bond because you got reachability, no? They comes and talks to V bond, and V bond authenticates them, and for all those VHS. For, for which the authentication was successful, if the authentication is successful, what is, what, what is going to happen? vBond is going to reveal the IP address of the vManager and vSmart. So using that IP address, edges Using the same transport, either MPLS or internet, they go and talk to vManager, goes and registers with vManager. vManager see all the edge device in the inventory. Now, we use the template and put some configuration for the vEdge. No battery, please charge. Sorry. The template is pushed. To all the edge devices. L battery pre-charge. So the configuration is pushed to all the edge devices. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, we can. Hello. Yeah, okay. We can. Thank you. So the configuration is pushed using what? Redconf. Now according to the configuration, now the routing table will be built, right? That routing table will be advertised. vSmart, vSmart takes that advertisement and distributes it to all other V edges. As a result, all the internal networks of Afghanistan, Sweden, Nigeria, US and Philippines are known to everyone but not known to the transport network. MPLS and internet, they don't know about the internal networks of the sites. But the reachability is there between the sites. Right? So, the middle one is transport network. Now, vSmart, you know, 
you can have multiple vSmart. vSmart is the one which is uh, distributing the routes of one side to other sides, right? Using what protocol? What, what is the protocol used by O? OAP. OAP. Overlay Management Protocol, OM, OMP. Yeah. Yeah. OMP. So, see, if this vSmart goes down, what will happen? If vSmart goes down, the VHS can maintain the existing route only for one hour. So, within the one hour, within that one hour time, make sure the vSmart comes back problem solved. To avoid this problem, you can have redundant vSmarts. You can have redundant vSmarts. Not a problem. But we cannot have redundant vManager. We cannot have redundant vManager. vManager can be more than one, but in one cluster. It should be in one cluster. You cannot have two separate vManager. Then it will become two, two different SD van. So V Smart can be in multiple location. All right. So story about template is over. Sir, one question. Question, please. So, uh, suppose we have two V smart. We have two V smart. So, how VH will choose VH which V smart to choose for routing? For routing. No, basically, if they are synchronized, V V smarts are synchronized. So yeah, but what I'm asking is, and, uh, what I'm asking it will be having uh, route. It will be by having a route. Smart, right? By a two V smart. Right? No, the one to the closest. No, not all will be. It's kind of any cast. We'll see that in detail. It's kind of any cast. Not all, both will be communicating to the same VH. Only one. The nearest one only will be responding. We will talk about that when we go. Have we done this one uh, multicasting? Have we done a multicasting in our batch? I don't think so. If yes, yes no. you know, uh, no, no, no. okay, MSDP, how you do, same like that. We'll talk about that later, more than have one. I'm just telling, vSmart can be more than one, vManager, uh, if you want to have more than one, it should be in one cluster. Why we should vSmart need to be more than one? I gave you a reason. If one vSmart goes down, the routes that already given can be maintained only for one hour. If the VSMART don't come in one hour time, then finish. No routes in the VH. To avoid such situation, try to have two VSMART. So that slowly you can repair the one which is gone. Okay, now the protocol that we use in transport can be MPLS, can be OSPF, can be a point to point network, can be even static route, that doesn't matter. Likewise, the networks that are within the sites inside. Inside this Afghanistan site, you may have OSPF. Inside Sweden site, you may have BGP. Inside Nigerian uh, Nigeria site, you may have a static. Uh, inside the USA, you may have EIGRP. Listen, EIGRP can be a protocol only if you have CH. The VH is from WebTela, right? They don't know what is EIGRP. So, 
if you are using C CSR or C edge device, then you may have any routing protocol. EHERP is not an option for VH. Right. Sir, one question. Sir, VH and 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 VH We'll talk about some VPN stuff in our next class. Service VPN stuff in the next class. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Whoever can come tomorrow.